Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the easiest way to get a typewriter effect inside of After Effects. I'll be showing you a few different methods, and I'm honestly gonna show you how to do this in only five seconds. So by far the easiest way to create a typewriter effect inside of After Effects, and it'll actually only take you five seconds, is just to grab the type tool and click and type in whatever you want your text to say, then go up to Effects and Presets and search for the typewriter effect. Drag and drop it onto your text layer, and you've got yourself a great looking typewriter effect. And this isn't just a wipe from one direction to the other either. Each new letter pops up in order, in full. And if you wanted to change up the timing at all, just highlight your text layer, hit the U key, and extend this keyframe to make it a bit longer, or pull it in to make it shorter, making the typing animation happen faster. You're already animating like a pro, but if you wanted to step it up just a bit, we can add some flair by adding a blinking cursor animation to the end. And the best part of this is that there's actually another drag and drop solution already right inside of After Effects. But if you're finding that this is already helping you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and let's keep going. Let's delete our typewriter effect by dropping down our layer here and deleting the animator tab. And now I'm gonna search for the effect called blinking cursor typewriter console. Drag and drop this onto your footage layer and you've already got the effect. It's literally just that easy, but there is a problem that you might come across. Let's say that you've got your text typing like this, but you notice that it's spreading outward in both directions. That's because you've got your paragraph style set to center text. To change that, go to your paragraph window and set your text to left align. And now it reveals from left to right. And if you wanted it to go from right to left, then you just have to go and select right align. But this isn't what I want mine to do, so I'll just go back and set this to left align. Then I'll go to the align window and center it vertically and horizontally to make sure it's in the center of frame. But there's actually a lot more that you can do to customize this effect. Just like with the previous version, you can hit the U key and then drag these keyframes in or out to shorten or lengthen the animation. But on top of that, you can highlight both of them and move it forward, causing the animation to start later, but then the cursor stays in place and it's blinking until the animation starts. Then when it finishes, it keeps blinking. But in case you wanted to change how fast that blinking speed happens, you can actually do that up here from within your effect controls panel. And underneath the cursor blink speed, you can increase or decrease it to whatever feels best for you. You can also just turn the cursor on or off completely, which for me means that I'll probably never actually use just the normal typewriter effect because it's exactly the same thing, but this version has way more parameters in case I wanted to add them in later on. But on top of all of that, you can actually change what the cursor looks like. You've got a bunch of different options to make yours feel unique, more like an old school console terminal or something a little bit more interesting. Now with just these two effects, you can create some really beautiful animations. But because After Effects makes this effect so easy to create, I also wanted to to show you guys a really versatile scene that you can put this into, and it's one that I go back to over and over again. This is really good for the typing effect, but it's also just a really great technique to have in your back pocket in general. We're gonna make it look like we're really close up to our computer screen and looking at the text being typed out really, really close up. So for example, I could start by pre-composing this layer and adding the Motion Array Super Glow plugin to give it some character. Check the little chromatic aberration option and we're already looking great. Then I'll download a CRT overlay, drag it into After Effects and drop it on top of everything. Set the blend mode to add, and then I'll drop down the opacity of the CRT screen layer. And then I'm gonna place an oval mask over top of everything and feather it out a little bit so that we create a natural vignette. And with just those additions, we've stylized our typewriter effect to look like a realistic computer screen. But now that you have the basic fundamentals of this scene, let me show you how to really take it up a notch by adding some realistic 3D camera motion. It's just that little bit of polish that's gonna set it apart. To start with, pre-compose everything that you've done up until this point and move all attributes to the new composition. Next, let's create a camera by right-clicking and selecting new camera. By default, it'll be set to something like 35, which is totally fine, but if you really wanted to get an exaggerated look, you can drop yours down to something really low, like 15 millimeters, and you'll get a way more exaggerated fisheye sort of look. We actually use this effect a lot in our commercials here at Motion Array. So once you've made your camera, just make sure to click this icon here to enable 3D for that layer. Position your text so that it fills up as much of the frame as you'd like. For me, I wanna get close up to it so I get that exaggerated fisheye look. Now I can drop down my layer options here, and then we can make some keyframes at the very start. And a nice little trick is to shift click to highlight all of the options you wanna create keyframes for, and then just click the stopwatch icon for any of them to activate keyframes for all of them. And then go to the very last frame and move these around a bit so that we get some motion in our composition. Then I'm just gonna right click and add a new black solid underneath everything. Black 
Lastly, drop down your camera here, and underneath your camera options, we're gonna play around with the depth of field. But first, if your camera options aren't even showing up here at all, a really quick fix is just to go up to Composition, Composition Settings, and under your 3D renderer, just make sure it's set to Classic 3D. Now we're gonna turn depth of field on and increase our aperture to a really high amount. It's gonna be way too much at first, but the reason that I'm doing this is so that it's a lot easier to figure out exactly what part of our composition is in focus. So now I can take the focus distance and dial it in until I actually get my text in focus. Then I can go back to the aperture and drop it down to a more reasonable amount so that my text is in focus, but the edges of the frame are starting to get blurred out. And there we go, in literally less than five minutes, we've gone from this, to this, to this, to this. Just awesome. And if you wanted to create something more like an animation where somebody's Googling some information, or a typewriter animation revealing your text in a realistic way. Hold on, this exact footage was used in the Hollywood film Corner Office starring John Hamm. I'm not kidding, they actually used it. Even Hollywood knows that sometimes you just can't beat using an awesome template. So whether or not you want your typing effect to look like this, or this, or this, You've now got the fundamentals and we've got some incredible templates to help make your shots look amazing. And I've left a link to all of those templates in the description down below. And if you wanted even more amazing text effects, you can check out this video right here. I'll see you over there.